Hello and welcome. So today we're going to be having a quick look at some new features available in Portals for Office 365. So if you don't know, Portals is a multi-tenant, multi-account browser launcher for any of the Office 365 and Azure portals that are available. So if you come into one of your accounts and you click on one of the portal names, uh, you'll be jumped straight into, for example, the Office 365 admin portal here. And you can do that across multiple accounts, multiple different tenants, all at the same time. And one of the beauty parts is that once you've logged into any one of these accounts, it actually works across any of these. So if you click on a different portal, it already knows your session data, so it'll log you straight into that as well. That's basically what Portals is. Multi-tenant, multi-account, simple, easy administration and user access to Office 365 and Azure. So with great power also comes great responsibility. So obviously once you've logged in and the session data is saved within portals, then if you walk away from your PC to say, go get a coffee in the middle of the day, um, someone could just walk up to your PC and click on this account and get access into any of these portals, which is obviously a bit of a problem. Um, most people will lock windows, but if you don't, uh, then that could happen. So a feature that I've added recently is a feature called passcode. So if you turn on passcode, it actually allows you to have portals be locked so no one can get into anything once they're locked. So to do that, you have to enable the passcode and type in a passcode of your choice. It can be any length you want, short, long, it's up to you. And some additional settings here is the ability to lock portals when Windows locks. So if you lock Windows, portals will automatically get locked as well. Um, there's also an idle time selection. So if you select 30 seconds and you haven't touched your keyboard or mouse for 30 seconds, then portals will automatically lock as well. So I'll switch all those on and then click OK. And so you'll notice once this is turned on, you actually get a little lock button that comes up up here. So this also allows you to manually lock portals. So now portals is locked. I can't click on anything. I can't open any accounts or any windows unless I know the passcode. So I'll type in the passcode and then I get access back in again. So if you actually had a window open at that time, and you lock, it actually locks all of the windows as well. So once this is locked, no one can get access to any previously open windows, and they also can't get access to open any additional accounts as well. If you also forget your passcode, which may happen time to time, uh, you can click on this forgot button. And so what this will actually do is it disables the passcode feature but in doing that, it also deletes any session data that existed within portals as well. So once that's done, anyone that clicked on a portal would actually have to do the full Office 365 login again, which may include MFA or whatever level of security is on that account. So if I click OK now, it actually shuts down all the windows and disables the passcode feature. But then if I click on this to go into it again, I'm back at the login screen, so I can't do anything. So that's the passcode feature. Uh, hopefully that helps you with your security uh, in the various accounts that you're accessing. One of the other features that was added recently is the sort order feature. So the sort order feature is basically this button here. So when you click on this button, if you've got 100 accounts here, it can be a bit tedious to go in and you can actually manually, with these little adder arrows here, move the accounts up and down to get them in the order you want. But if you've got like 100 accounts, you might simply want to put them into alphabetical order. So you can just click on this sorting value here, and it'll put all the accounts in username level alphabetical order. But if you click on it again, it'll actually put it into domain level alphabetical order. So Apple, Banana, Zeta. Um, but all the front ones are in a different order. So they're your choices. You can do username level alphabetical order or domain level alphabetical order. So that was a new feature recently added. Um, we've also got dark mode now. So if you turn on dark mode, you get dark mode, which is great for anyone that uses dark mode for a lot of different windows. It's not much fun having one white window when you've got all the rest dark. So dark mode's there as well. 
Uh, and one of the little Easter eggs that I recently added as well was you can actually change the portal's logo by clicking on it. So if you click on it, there's a whole bunch here. You can go through and pick the one that fits your style, the way you want to have your portals to look. I quite like this one, so we'll leave it like that. So there's some of the new features that were recently added. Hopefully they make your life easier and enjoy.